Okay, so if you're working like most people do, probably your calendar is full of tasks and projects you're currently working on. So in other words, you're organizing your day and your work through your calendar. And this might be most likely uh, the Outlook calendar from Microsoft uh, within Microsoft 365. The problem that many of us have though is that the actual calendar entry is not connected to the work that you're doing. This might be a PowerPoint presentation, it might be a video you need to watch, it might be a Word document or ideally a task that you store in a tool somewhere. So in this video we're going to learn how you connect the leading work management tool Asana with Microsoft Outlook Calendar so that your work and the tool with all the information and tasks and steps and collaborators you have um, if you collaborate with others and the actual calendar entry are connected. And there's three ways to do that and in this video we're going to learn how this works and what you're gonna uh, what you need to do to do to set it up. So let's get started. I'm within a project in Asana at the moment and we're going to look at the first yeah, possibility to connect your calendar, your Outlook calendar with Asana. So let's look at this task, for example. I have the task of watching all Bridgelow YouTube videos, which I have assigned to myself and which is due today. And the first option would be um, that, like most people organize um, their work, is to use the calendar first. So let's just say I want to do it today. What many people do is to create a calendar event, let's say, two hours for example or three hours and then adding the title here I want to work on it and then it is due it at 11 today right so now there is no information nothing in this task like what videos should I watch and am I collaborating with others and now what you can do and this is the first way of connecting um, tasks and um, your calendar events is you create this task here right um, so I did this manually already and you scroll down and you find um, that you have the Outlook calendar integration here. So you can choose to add an existing calendar event to this event, right? So when I click here, uh, it will automatically pull all events that I have in my calendar. You see there are some already. I'm going to find this one that I just created earlier. And now within seconds, I will have a connection between this task here where, by the way, I added the video already and if I collaborate with others, I could also chat and add more information and status updates in all these fields, for example. And now I can just click and will automatically be headed to this event and you see the link is there, right? I can, uh, of course, I can edit it here in Outlook and move it and the update will also automatically be sent to Asana. Right. So now if I click on this event, the URL is here. I can click on the URL and it will automatically bring me back here. That's option number one, connecting existing calendar events with Asana task. Typically, you want it the other way around. So let's look at the set up the company SharePoint task. And what I will do is uh, I will go again down here and find the Outlook calendar integration and I want to create a new event. So. Um, as you saw earlier in the uh, fields, I estimated two hours for this event. So first of all, this window opens and I can now choose the calendar I'm using. In this case, I'm only having a one calendar and I can also change the title of the event, but in this case, it's fine. Um, also description of the um, task uh, that I added here on the right side um, will also be in the event description, but I can also edit it here and add more information if I want it. And then I can also make it a full day event and say it starts on the 10th and ends at 11. But in this case, I do not want to be uh, having a, I don't want to have a full day event. So I want to set, in this case, it takes two hours to set it up, right? So I can uh, choose the duration here. And um, also um, first, uh, for example, say when I'm available. In this case, um, uh, it would be 12 a.m., but we're gonna look at this a little bit later. And then I also wanna attach files that are here uh, added to the task, which you can see, I wanna invite the people that I collaborate with here, the collaborators, they will also be invited. And I wanna also share a Teams invite, right? So when I submit it, um, you will see in a few seconds that the information has first of all being added here to the task right the integration is here uh, it will sync up a little bit and you see it added it from 12 a.m to 2 a.m and if i click here then i can see 
in a bit that the task is here, right? So now I could go on work um, and I could say, for example, this should be from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. on the 9th, which is in two days, right? You see the attachment here, you see the description and the invitees are also there. And now I will send it and it is also in my calendar, right? And if I click here, I can also see again, everything that has been in the task is connected. So this is the other way connecting existing tasks um, to the Outlook calendar um, through the integration. So now the question is, how do you set this up? And within each project that you have in Asana, you can click on customize on the top right, and then you can choose apps. So apps are external apps that you might want to connect for your workflows to Asana. In this case, what I did is I clicked on apps. I was looking for Outlook calendar and you can see it is here and then you connect it and you just need to give the permission within Microsoft, but also within Asana. And I did that already. You see it's connected here. So that's the prerequisite you have to do in order to find this Outlook field. Um, here, right? If you add Google Drive, if you add Teams, all these fields will appear here in the task. Now there is one bonus that I want to show you in this video. And there might be some workflows where you automatically, repetitive, always need to add calendar events based on a certain, let's say, status that a task is in, right? Or uh, based on an assignee that receives the task. So what I did in this um, case here is I set up a rule that every time a task is moved from this section to the approval section, so someone needs to look at the task and approve it, what I created is a rule that this task will automatically be put to the um, calendar. So let's have a look how this looks like. So what you can see, um, the task is now here, the, ta the rule triggered, and as soon as I scroll down, you also can see that this has been uh, created here and if I click at the task or the calendar event I automatically will be forwarded to this um, event and I can also now schedule it to whatever time I think is right in this case it was a full day event um, but I want to schedule it from let's say uh, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. or 2 yeah to 3 p.m. right and now it's an, an hour event and I can send and now everyone will have the update and I can also move it around in my calendar here and um, then also the synchronization will happen. Um, and I send it to everyone. The synchronization will also happen in the Asana task. So again, summarizing, you can add existing um, calendar events to your Asana tasks, right? By syncing that. You can also create from existing tasks calendar events, and you can automate it by uh, creating rules in Asana. And let's look how this would work. Uh, would work. Um, there's something called rules in Asana where you can build these integrations. And you can always say, I want to have a trigger. For example, the task is moved in a, in a section, which we did. The section was called approvals. Then do this. And in this case, um, the uh, action would be to create a calendar event. And then within this um, section, you can say, okay, please also attach uh, files and create a Teams meeting and so on and so on. And then you click on publish. And then you will see all the automations that you have created here in the section uh, on the right side, and you can always go back and edit it. So these are the ways you can use Outlook Calendar with, um, with Asana, synchronizing events in both directions, and you will always have the information connected, right? So if you want to watch YouTube videos, all the video YouTube videos from Bridgeflow, you have the information and the collaboration and the task, and you always have the uh, respective um, Outlook um, yeah, calendar event also in the task. Hope that helps. Um, if there's out and if there's processes and workflows that go beyond the possibilities with the native integration of Outlook and Asana, you can contact me and my team. We have a dedicated solution engineering team that can build workflows that go beyond the native integrations. Um, if you have specific workflows that you think about. Um, feel free to contact us. Also in our YouTube channel, you will find more videos about Teams integrations, um, uh, SharePoint, Outlook um, emails, or the whole Microsoft 365 suite. So feel free to browse through our channel and I'm looking forward to your feedback.